The galaxy was once a peaceful place, but then large abominations started appearing out of nowhere, attacking planets, cities, colonies, basically everything that had a significant number of sapiens. At first, those were killed with antimatter weaponry, but when they attacked cities, antimatter weaponry weren't an option, as they usually would delete the cities and the people living there. The governments had no option but to let the monsters roam until they left the cities by themselves, to then be killed with antimatter weaponry. That was the normal procedure until the humans arrived at the galactic stage. Biped beings, relatively short compared to other species, had no natural means to defend themselves and their skin was fragile. Even then, those things managed to survive and evolve in a death world. The region where their homeworld was located was devoid of life, and so it took us hundreds of cycles to find them. And the reason we did find them was because of a small probe, one that they called Voyager 1. We were quick to inform them of the abominations that were attacking the rest of the galaxy, and that they should prepare themselves for what was inevitable they would also be attacked by those abominations. However, the humans deal with them differently. At first, they didn't show the rest of the Federation how they dealt with the monsters. That is, until last cycle, where a human ambassador was invited for the third meeting regarding the abominations. It happened at the Federation's capital. The first half part of the cycle was normal, we exchanged information and started to discuss how we could better deal with the abominations, until our scientists found who was sending them in the first place, and a way to deal with them. Then, the human ambassador suggested using a robot, a big one, to deal with them. Of course, the idea was quickly discarded, many even laughing, as no material would be able to support the robot's own weight. However, all of a sudden, an attack happened. An abomination appeared and started moving towards the capital. At the time, we had no antimatter weaponry ready, and we wouldn't be able to prime them before the abomination arrived and destroyed everything. But then, the human ambassador picked up a small device from their pants pocket and said, Send in Commando Bravo. No more than 15 standard time units later, roughly 30 minutes, we were being evacuated to one of the bunkers as to survive the attack, but before we entered, we saw dozens of human vessels carrying a gigantic robot. After arriving near the abomination, it was dropped onto the ground, a hole in the middle of its chest, which was probably a fusion reactor heat exhaust. The robot immediately hit its fist together, which, apparently, was interpreted as a challenge by the abomination, which probably changed course and charged to the robot. However, before I could see the start of the fight, I was pushed into the bunker. One galactic cycle later, we left the bunker. The abomination was dead. The human robot was missing an arm and had three huge gashes spreading on his chest. The abomination, however, had a gaping hole in his chest with burns similar to those caused by plasma. The humans somehow managed to make a robot of that scale and make it work. Their solution to the weight problem? Anti-gravity generators. I then asked the human ambassador, why? Why make those giant robots? Because it's fucking cool.